President Mary McAleese has led tributes to the RTE broadcaster Jerry Ryan, who was found dead at his home in Dublin this afternoon. He was 53. RTE's Director General, Carl Gowen, described his death as a moment of inexpressible grief. The chairman of the RTE Authority, Tom Savage, said he was a phenomenon and an icon in the evolution of Irish broadcasting. And a very good morning to you, Ryan, on the radio until midday. Good to have you with us this Monday. For over 300,000 people, his voice provided a soundtrack to their morning. Ryan on the radio could amuse, inform, sometimes shock, and always entertain. The news of his sudden death today has devastated his family and his friends. He, uh, he was asked by Bill O'Donnell, the head of the family, to go on in the morning and do talky stuff. And he, he, Bill mentioned it to me, and I just said, it works at night. It's a bit too risque for the morning. I don't think the Irish public are ready for that. I was completely wrong. Within two months, he had established himself as a major new force on Irish radio, and he never let go of that grip by being really honest and by being really funny. And quite honestly, I just lost the funniest person I've ever known in my life. The 53-year-old was found dead at his apartment today by his partner. He had called in sick for work this morning. Guardies say there are no suspicious circumstances surrounding his death. Jerry Ryan was the father of five children and frequently spoke about his family live on air, drawing on his personal experiences to build an incredible rapport with listeners. He was generous, generous in his private life, generous in his public life, generous in terms of on radio, supporting other colleagues, and generous in terms of helping people. The sadness is that so many people knew him, so many, and we will discover over the next few days, I think, a lot of people will be surprised of the breadth of people that actually counted Jerry Ryan as a good, good friend, and a lot of those were people who never actually met him. And it can be very difficult for a woman like yourself, because without insulting you, you have a, a, a timid sort of a voice. It probably would be hard for you to sound like you really mean business. I, I bet you find that quite difficult. Oh yeah, he just laughs at me. My father always just laughs at me. An innovative presenter who was able to move from incredibly sensitive topics to the most frivolous in the space of a three-hour programme, Jerry Ryan was described today as a huge loss to Irish broadcasting. An extraordinary talent has been taken away from us. Somebody whose voice on radio defined a genre of radio broadcasting for us, has been to FM for so long, and in very many ways was the voice of his own generation for uh, all of the people who have been with him through his career in broadcasting and who uh, loved his irreverence and his energy. And it's just so shocking. He had his own particular style. He was very forthright, articulate, intelligent, witty, um, very direct. Uh, and, uh, you know, one's memories of him are tinged with uh, sadness now, but a recognition that he was a, a man of his time who brought a new style to broadcasting, highly popular, uh, and he'd be sadly missed. There will be a special tribute programme to Jerry Ryan tomorrow morning on RTE 2 FM between 10 and 12, and a book of condolence can be signed at RTE's radio centre from 12 to 6. Jerry Ryan's family has appealed for privacy this evening. He survived by his wife, Maura, from whom he was separated, their five children, and his partner, Melanie. Sinead Crowley, RTE News. Jerry Ryan had worked in broadcasting for more than 30 years. He had presented one of Ireland's most popular weekday radio shows on RTE 2 FM since 1988, as well as many television programmes. Jerry Ryan was born in Clontarf on Dublin's north side in 1956. He studied law at Trinity College, but his career took a very different path. After a stint in pirate and community radio, he joined Radio 2, now RTE 2 FM, when it began in 1979. He soon became a part of their main nighttime lineup with Dave Fanning and Mark Cagney. Jerry Ryan from Radio 2, are we right? Okay, let's go, and we start now. In 1988, the Jerry Ryan show began. Over the next 22 years, it became one of the most listened to radio programmes in the country. Well, to be perfectly honest, he's a, well, he's an alcoholic, you know. So we just took him on here. He's, and he's doing well now, mind you. But Jerry Ryan also had a varied television career. One of his most famous appearances was on The Late Late Show, where he claimed he'd slaughtered a lamb. By the time we got to the situation where we had to band together as a group and decide that we had to really go out there and kill for our food. I think it was a natural decision. To come it was an amazing, to an amazing bonding together of people. 
But shows like School Around the Corner brought out his gentler side. But which one are you? Jim. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, right, so that's James and that's Chris. For now I know where I'm going. On shows like Secrets, he displayed his mastery of audience interaction. We all know our partners so well. But I'm not talking about how... Oh, I see. <laughs> Hold on a second, let's just take a look at these guys. You know each other well. <laughs> Good, that could come in handy a little later. In 1994, he co-hosted the Eurovision Song Contest where he introduced the first performance of Riverdance. How about that? In 2008, Jerry Ryan presented an edition of The Late Late Show. Welcoming you to the big one, The Late Late Show! <laughs> He's also fronted Operation Transformation and a unique one-to-one -one chat show called Ryan Confidential, although on this occasion the tables were turned. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was make, um, make the language uh, real, make it sound like the kind of conversation that you'd have over a pint in a bar or over a row at the dinner table. We had huge support at line management level in radio, which meant that fuck could be said. Can you imagine the power of that 20 years ago? It was mind-boggling. Today, Jerry Ryan's broadcasting career came to an early and unexpected end, but those in the radio business say his legacy will live on.